Hello, this is Brian Lawfer, Vice President of Operations at Aspire Technologies, the developers of QuoteWorks sales quoting software. Today, I am going to provide a quick demonstration of the data feed file integration introduced in QuoteWorks version 4.5. Um, in order to use this new functionality, you do need to have the QuoteWorks real-time module. And unlike other features of the real-time module, this integration can be used by almost any industry. Um, and if I go to Data Feed Files website, you'll notice that there's over 5,300 merchants, um, you know, ranging from contacts to floral to IT to you know just about everything out there under the sun. Um, in QuoteWorks, um, when you first enable the link, um, we actually um, uh, do not provide you with an ID or a token, but we do pre-populate with you know 10 to 15 common um, uh, merchants that you're you're probably familiar with. So you just want to make sure that you check the checkbox there to enable the the link, um, and we'll be able to start searching right away. So um, you can just start searching using you know our default merchants. However, if you do want to sign up with DataFeedFile.com, you can specify any one of those 5,300 different merchants uh, in order to search. So if you're not in IT or you don't purchase from um, like Staples or Office Depot or whatnot, um, you can register and you can you can put in whichever merchants you'd like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a search here. And uh, my first search, I'm just going to search for some toner. I'm going to go ahead and search by uh, the actual manufacturer part number. And you'll notice that it comes back pretty quickly with seven different items. And um, what's nice about this functionality, not only um, you know can I add the item to my quote, as you see here, it's it's added to the quote. I didn't have to do any importing or anything. It's it's added very quickly like that. Um, but what I can do is I can actually right click on the item and view the item URL. And what that's going to do is it's going to take me to that merchant's website, and I'll be able to see you know the actual stock information um, if it's available. In this case, it's in stock with my price. Um, so if you were to get special pricing um, that might be different from the pricing provided by DataFeedFile.com, you'd see that here on the merchant's website. You can also do searches based on uh, more um, uh, less specific, I should say, uh, keywords as well. So like if I wanted a Linksys router, um, I can go ahead and click on find. And what it's going to do is it's going to search datafeedfile.com um, using those generic terms um, and as you can see, it's coming back with a lot of different results. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're as specific as possible when trying to find your items. Um, you'll notice here it came back with 378 items. You know, I'm, I'm going to be wading through all of these items. So I might know, you know, you know, some more specific information, such as, you know, what, you know, how many ports I want on this router, or even, you know, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with the the part number. Um, so you'll notice that it's going to come back with 12 items very quickly. So, um, you know, again, um, using some more of the functionality in the real-time module, um, if if any of you are using QuoteWorks in conjunction with, say, Tech Data, Ingram, Cynix, DNH, um, and you're using the compare functionality already, you'll actually be able to use that with DataFeedFile.com. So I could right-click on this item here select compare, select which databases I want to compare against. In this case, I'm going to do DNH, Ingram, Cynix, and Tech Data. Click on OK, and you can see that I, um, I found the item in DNH, Ingram, and Tech Data, but not in Cynix. And click on the real-time data button. What that's going to do is actually get me real-time pricing availability from these distributors. Um, in this case, I can see that Tech Data has it less expensive than, say, at PC Mall um, at 63.67, and I can see that they actually have it in stock. So, one of the nice things about this feature is the fact that you know you can see what pricing your customers are getting, um, but you could also um, source the items yourself as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and add this item to my quote. Go ahead and click on Append close out of this and you'll notice that even though I sourced it via um, datafeedfile.com originally um, through my compare functionality I'm now sourcing it via tech data so it's just a way to kind of speed things up um, in the process here um, so this way you know you don't need to necessarily um, have a product database for each of each vendor that you might purchase from that might be um, that you use every once in a while as opposed to on a regular basis 
So I hope you found this, uh, this video helpful um, and informative showing you some of the new functionality using datafeedfile.com. And just to recap, um, this feature does require the real-time module. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us directly um, or your QuoteWorks partner. Thank you and have a great day.